2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam in Phoenix, Arizona, specifically TPC Scottsdale. What's this opening hole like? Well, thankfully, it's a little benign compared to the craziness around the golf course that ensues. Just 414 yards from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side, the players want to avoid. They'll be more than likely taking out a long iron fairway wood, hitting it down the right-hand side. Green tilts a little bit from right to left. A big runoff area on the left-hand side is a no-no for your second shot. But all in all, a nice, easy opening hole. Let's get down to the action. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies, Rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your iron play dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in early, it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. It was on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. She's currently tied for sixth. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That's tiny. Good mid-range putt, this one. An 18-footer. Ouch, that hurts. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And with that par, she'll remain at even overall. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Well, Rich, I feel like this is a bit of a rhetorical question, but what's your favourite part of the Waste Management Phoenix Open? All of it. There's not a single thing that I don't love about it. I find it, since I first started coming here in 1989, to be an absolute, I don't want to say circus, because that's not the right word, but this is a social gathering. I once saw a guy, Luke, walking around in a jumpsuit made of pennies. Made of pennies, and I didn't know if it was chain mail or what. But in 1999, I saw this guy and thought, you know what? This tournament's a little different than the rest. As we've seen throughout the years, that's exactly what it's turned into. I mean, this is just a massive social gathering in Scottsdale. The players embrace it. They love it. They get it. They get into it by throwing stuff in the crowd on 16, wearing jerseys, dressing up, getting into the action, getting into the fun, if you will. It's... It's unlike any other golf tournament in the world and should be. This is a special event in a special place. The stadium hole gets a lot of the focus. Over 500,000 fans through the gates through the course of the week. But for all the partying, all the fun and frivolity that takes place, there's a fair bit of serious work that gets down to the end, isn't there? Well, they, they're playing for a lot of money, a lot of FedEx come points, as we know. But listen, these guys are out there to compete and win. But they don't lose 
the, the one atmospheric part about it, and that is everybody is out there to be entertained. And that's what they're trying to do. Entertain them. Make a lot of birdies if you can, because that's what it takes. you got to make birdies to win this tournament. Whether this week is going to be delicious, go get them. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. Tracking. Well hold. And that will take it to one under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. Lovely effort, that. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Opting for the five wood. That might be one club too many. Well, that's a handy shot. John, have you got a read on this one? I'd say it's about 29 feet from where I'm standing. Get in the hole. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And with that, she'll move to a couple under par. And it's worth taking another look at that one. No movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four. 432 off the back tees. Again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole. A safe strategy lays back before them. Choosing the nine iron here. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Booty here at the sixth. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Well done. Take the birdie. And that will take it at three under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens and regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. This one's looking good. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take her to four under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Opting for the six iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. Yeah. 
That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Mark it down. That's Birdie number five. And that will take her to five under. Still in the lead now after that hole. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale was a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. Nicely done. Well, this is some sort of play. Five birdies on the bounce. Going with the seven. Wow, what a shot. Well, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here with the nine. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And with that, she'll move to six under par. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. She's managed to find the green on this approach. Putting for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. This one's dialed in. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will move her to seven under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The 11th is a par four playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Uh, she's a top quality player, this one. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Looks like they've got the five wood. And this needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take her to eight under. She's currently in first position. The 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. Pretty good shot there. 13 feet to the hole. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Leading by five shots after that. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for birdie here to really ignite your charge. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh. 
from the sand, looking to get up and down. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. It's got a chance. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. Leading by six strokes after that one. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. The 15th is a very important hole, the par 5, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Looking really good. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And this will give reason for the crowd to go absolutely bonkers here. It's on a great line. Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. Currently 13 under for the day. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. This dramatic finish at TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you've got to miss it out to the right-hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green in one, and you never know, you could make it two. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favorites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour, in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Oh, well done. The approach into the final green at TPC Scottsdale is usually with a little bit of relief, Rich, because the water's behind you. Luke, the second shot at the 18th is fairly straightforward, but how confident are you feeling with 50,000 sets of eyes focused on you? 
Nicely done. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The Waste Management Phoenix Open, Rich, and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the festivities as well. Great play this week. Great win. And Rich, credit where credit's you. I think you picked this victory. Well, even a blind squirrel gets an acorn every once in a while. No, listen, this player's been there all season long. They're just one of these rare players that is seemingly in contention every time they peg it up. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.